I am in the mother of turtle sample and I want to make sure that my variables are coded correctly, that my questions are coded correctly. Um, this is a self-esteem scale and uh, you're going to make sure that the numbers for each of your response options matches your response option numbers on your surveys. So if it says that it's zero through four, um, you should have these listed as zero through four. So zero, one, two, three, four. If it says one through five, then it should be listed as one, two, three, four, five. Um, so the idea here is that the number is representing an amount of self-esteem. Strongly disagree would mean low self-esteem for this question. So it should be listed as the lowest value. And then strongly agree would be high satisfaction. So that should be the highest value. So we can go to, um, if, once you click on the actual question, you can go to the recode values right here. And you can see, that one was clicked, um, but you can see it'll show up like this. And it'll automatically go from one to whatever number of responses you have. There's occasionally times where if you had other responses in there and you deleted them, it might do something weird, like have six through 10 or whatever it is. So you always wanna check this and make sure that it's set up correctly. So here, I do want it listed from one to five for my example. Um, and I do want it to be that a high score is strongly agree for this question. Now, if it were zero through four, I would need to click on recode values and say zero, one, two, three, four. So I just have to go through and ch change that. Um, I'm gonna leave it as one, two, three, four, five. So this should just match whatever your, whatever your survey or whatever your questionnaire uses. Now, where you wanna make sure that you are changing this. Um, so if it is one through five, again, it might just be set up correctly. You just wanna go through and check them but you are going to have to change the ones that are reverse scored. If you need a reverse scoring refresher, there is a video on that. But the idea is that you have some questions that are worded in a different direction. So you can see for this one that on the whole, I'm satisfied with myself. If they strongly agree, that indicates high self-esteem. So that's, that's the correct direction. But at times I think I'm no good at all. Uh, strongly agree would actually mean low self-esteem. So we need to reverse score these, this question. So I'm gonna to go to recode values. I'm going to use a scale from one to five, but you're just gonna reverse the order of your responses. So it should be the same response scale. You're just gonna reverse the order. So it'll be five, four, three, stays three, two, and one. So you're gonna to need to make sure that you know what your response scale is, and then you'll go through and recode your values. And then you can just close it afterwards. Um, and you can see there's a little, this question has recoded values. You can click back into it to make sure that it kept them and it did. And you go through and do that for the rest of your questionnaire. So you wanna make sure that any of your responses that are going to be combined into a score or that are supposed to be a number, um, that you have those properly coded. So that is the first part of scoring your Qualtrics survey. Um, so the next video will show how to create a total score.